get to end a long day. I don't know what happened. I was only supposed to drive three hours and it's been six. And I get to end it on a washboard road. I love washboard roads. I think there's nothing worse in a Class C than a washboard road. Because you hear everything bouncing around. Quiet right now, but watch. The road ahead it twists and turns and the sun beats down and it burns but I keep keep on pushing through Every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But you love lifts me back to solid ground on the left. Amazing views out in the distance. There's nobody here. I'm shocked. Windshield wipers need to be replaced. One of them just like peeled oh, the one of the layers peeled away. Oh, oh I see lots of oh okay. I see a flag. There's people over there. What about, uh, here comes an OHV, what about up there? This is really, really cool. And it's right off the interstate. All right, I think I'm just gonna find myself a spot. I see views, but they're far away and I'm not gonna be able to get a view, but this is beautiful. I think I'm just gonna park right here. It's been a stormy day, snow and crazy wind. Oh my God. Oh, ooh, I see more. <laughs> hmm. All right, I think this is gonna be a, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. I might just be here one night. If I like it, I might stay longer. So it looks like, I think I'm just gonna get out and walk around and explore. And if I decide to move, I will, but I'm a little worried about sand. I don't want to get stuck in the sand either. So, um, walking and Sadie needs to get out anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. You're ready to get out, huh? You've been out a couple of times. You want to get out? Want to go potty? Yeah. Okay. Let's get out. It's freaking snowing. <laughs> I mean, this day. Sadie, oh yeah, there you go. I got her, gave her a treat. She hasn't eaten all day because uh, she can't eat before we drive, so she just doesn't throw up. <laughs> it's snowing. Me, Sadie. Are you in Utah still? We haven't made it to Colorado. I can't believe it's snowing. I can't believe it's it's cold. It's freaking freezing. And um, I've been listening to the radio and listening to weather. 
I looked at the weather. I didn't see anything about this cold, and I didn't see anything about snow or rain. Crazy day. Crazy day. It's pretty. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She's got the crazies. Is it the snow that's making you crazy? <laughs> what are you doing? So this morning while I packed up, she was off leash the entire time. And, uh, you know, she goes and wanders around, and but she stays close. Huh? Yes, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. Her favorite duck jerky. Duck, what is that? Duck sweet potato jerky. It's your favorite, huh? All right. I think it's... It's uh, going away. Oh, I wanted to look. Did, I wanted to see if I can pick it up. Oh, it's gone. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, when I was, we went for a little walk and it was blue over there. Oh, you can still see it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up on the cell phone. The clouds, the bottoms of them were like tinted red. Yeah, you could see it. They're tinted red. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not on the cell phone. Does that mean snow? <laughs> Crazy day. Say, girl. Come. Now. Good girl. Oh, let's go get you a treat because I don't have any in my pockets. Come on. Good girl. Okay, and the humane way didn't work. So, I don't even know if it's still in here, really. But, I bought these. We'll find out if it's still in here. Yep. My snack. I haven't eaten all day. I had a few walnuts. And it's like 5 o'clock, so. Make some dinner here. Yeah. It's starting to stick. This is insane. It's been a crazy day. Snow showers all day. Driving in it. Excuse me. Are you going to eat my cantaloupe? <laughs> I don't think so. It's insane. I just got to camp. Long day of driving. This is crazy. Big fluffy snow, almost hail, almost hail. But it doesn't feel quite, yeah, I guess it could be hail. It's, I guess it's icy enough. This is crazy. <laughs> and the crazy part is none of the weather forecasts said anything about this. Partly cloudy is what they're saying. So I heard 3 o'clock this morning, I heard the mouse in the cabinet, and I was like, why is he making so much noise? I mean, it went on for a long time, and he, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a rat. But what happened is he'd gotten caught in the trap, so I just threw the whole bucket out, came outside, and um, it was still flip-flopping a little bit in the trap, but I decided just to deal with it in the morning, put the put the bin over it and I just came out and it's gone <laughs> I don't know he seemed dead so I don't know if something got it or if he wasn't dead 
If he wasn't dead, then he, did he come back in my rig? I doubt it. He had to be injured. But crap. <laughs> I wonder if something got it. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess I'll reset it. Put it back in. I've got gloves. I'm going to use gloves. Don't worry. Bummer. Okay, capture the mouse, take two. Let's see. I wasn't sure if there was only one anyway, so... I mean, the mouse seemed dead. Hopefully, uh... Something got it. I'm trying to decide if I want to stay another day or not. This was kind of supposed to be a layover. I wasn't really sure. I'm about two hours into town where I need to pick up my mail and get some other things done. So, I don't know. I like it here. The internet's good. I'm in really no hurry to get there. So, I might just stay here another day. And you might notice she's off leash. She has been doing really, really well off leash. She pretty much always comes on command out here. She got away at um, a gas station recently. She jumped out the window and she didn't listen there. So we have work to do there. But out here, look at her. She's off leash. She can run, she can go. But, but I play with her, spend a lot of time with her, pay a lot of attention to her. We train together a lot. I've made coming to me fun. A couple of things that I've done to um, encourage coming on demand is from the first day I brought her home, literally the first day I brought her home, every time, and she was a puppy and she loved being around me. I mean, she still does, but I mean, she was excited. Every time she ran toward me, I said, come and gave her a treat. 
every single time every single time and um, that was from day one even like we weren't training if we were just out playing and she ran toward me I'd shower her with love and affection and high-pitched voice and excitement and just tell her what a good girl she was and give her a treat so reinforcing that coming to me is something happy the other thing that I do is in the training when I'm training her to come to me and I've also whistle trained her now I have never made like if she does come to me and I really needed her to come and I need to put her on a leash I've never made putting her on a leash something not fun I've never made it the end of play in fact a lot of times what I do is I put her on a leash and then I bring out her favorite toy which is the thing on a string and a stick I bring out her favorite toy and we play with that toy when I put her on a leash so that she doesn't equate coming to me with the end of fun that sometimes it's the beginning of her best fun so I think that has really probably been one <laughs> she's gone but I think that has really been one of the main things is just that I think too many times and this is just something I don't know I probably got in my research and put together but I think a lot of times we want our dogs to come because we need to go somewhere we need to get something done whatever and so coming to us is the end of fun and so of course they don't want to come to us because whatever they're chasing or whatever they're doing is a lot more fun than coming to us what I want Sadie to know is that coming to me is fun it may not be as fun as chasing a rabbit or whatever but maybe close maybe a close second and one of the things that we're really working on now is that when she really is in that deep state of digging or chasing that she comes on command and we've had some success with that chasing chipmunks um, desensitizing her to deer a little bit but uh, yeah she's doing really 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 well so I'm able to let her wander off and yeah I know a lot of you <laughs> as one of my new favorite youtubers says stop typing um, I know you're gonna have uh, uh, stress and criticisms about letting a puppy run free and um, I've said this before I'd rather have her live five free years than live ten years on a chain um, you know, I mean, that's just my philosophy on life. You can agree with it or not. It's, I, you know, you, you can agree with it or not. I don't really care because this is my life and this is my dog's life. And uh, look how happy she is. Uh, she's much happier living free, doing puppy things. Um, you know, and I think I did say it in the last video. Capone died of cancer. So, you know. It's just it is what it is all right let's call her in I need to get some treats look at that I went inside to grab treats I didn't see her when I went and look at her <laughs> she has to be near me come good girl yay what a good girl what a good girl and a lot of people have said this is a female dog trait that they don't wander too far she does not like for me to be out of her sight and just right now I went inside to grab treats I didn't see her when I went in I knew she was over there in the tree somewhere and uh, I was inside for a minute not even and I came out and she was looking for me so the other thing about um, good recall she doesn't get just any old treat when she comes she gets her favorite treats so her normal uh, training is with kibble but her her cum treats are uh, the turkey jerky and freeze-dried salmon or whatever I'm um, actually the the turkey the duck the duck uh, sweet potato jerky she really loves too so you want to watch her um, her whistle recall and how I did this maybe we'll save this for another video just basically basic Darwinism no no uh, what's his name <sighs> Pavlov um, is that I equated uh, the whistle with her favorite toy so now so during training I will make her sit with her favorite toy dangling over her I'll make her leave it and then when I say come I blow the whistle and so now the toy uh, the whistle equates to her favorite toy <laughs> good girl okay. and she's going to get her toy <laughs> good girl come all right you want to play with your favorite toy all right since we are still training and she's still equating the whistle with her favorite toy I'm gonna give her her favorite toy to reinforce that so stay leave it
Come, good girl. Good girl. Jump, good girl. And this is our morning routine. Little training, little play. Try to get out some of that morning energy so that I can get some work done for a couple hours. Huh. Yeah, I think I've pretty much decided I'm not going anywhere today. Yeah. Sit, I mean drop it. Good girl. Lay down. Stay. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Get it. And this is how you make a happy dog who doesn't want to run away from you. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed another day on the road and some more Utah and some training with Sadie. And the mouse saga continues, and it continues to continue. <laughs> but stay tuned. My trek to Colorado continues with a lot more great views and fun stops and fun Sadie along the way. So I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe below. Thank you. Bye.